It's your dream. Nobody's going to see it like you do it. It's your dream. Nobody's going to feel it like you feel it. It's your dream. Nobody's going to be as dedicated to it as you are. It's your dream, and they don't have to understand, and they don't have to like it, and they don't have to do it. It doesn't make a difference. It's your dream, and you, my friend, have been given the task to make it happen, and you can't let anything stop you from doing what you were called to do. Stand up for what you want in your life. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. You've got to say, yes, I can make it. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes, yes. When you decide acting in your best interest, you're going to lose some friends. Everybody's not going to approve of you. There are some people that won't like you. Who do you think you are? You are arrogant. What do you think you can do? You're selfish. When you hang around average people, all they're going to do is tell you what they can't do. And that's okay that they can't do it. But that has absolutely nothing to do with us. We can do whatever we believe we can do. And we don't need anybody's permission to do it but ours. I am great, and I don't owe anybody an apology. I am phenomenal, and I don't owe anybody an apology. I am going to do great things, and I don't owe anybody an apology. I was created to do great things, and I will no longer ask others for their permission. Kill the noise and dominate your space, your lane. I dare you to believe in yourself so much so that you don't need the affirmations of others. I dare you to believe in your uniqueness. I dare you to believe in you. I dare you to stand up for yourself. I dare you to dominate your space, your world, and to leave a legacy. What do you do about the negative guy that's trying to bring you down? It's quite simple. Ignore and outwork every last one of them. The best revenge is massive success. I'll show you. You want to kill your haters? You want to shut them down? You want to kill the noise? Listen to me. Nothing succeeds like success. Who cares what they say? Dominance. Who cares what they think? Dominance. It doesn't matter how many times I fail. I'm going to courageously pursue it. I don't care what people say. I don't care what they think. This is something that I want that gives my life meaning and value. You got to work through it. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called to be. You're going to have and you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you. Everybody that tried to stop you. Everybody that tried to kill your dream. You're going to prove all of them wrong. You really want to be successful? You got to have a lot of dog in you. You got to be mean sometimes because life ain't fair. Life is hard, man. It is not fair. But life ain't fair to nobody. You just got to fight through, man. You got to you got to bite back sometimes. It's like haters. When you get haters, you know, people's opinion of you is none of your business. So I don't I don't give them no energy. I give haters no energy. So I just I just keep going through. And but then I'll tell you something too. Haters motivate me because when they talking about me, that means I'm doing something. And what happens is we actually talk ourselves out of the things that we truly want in life because we're so overly concerned with what people might say, not with what they actually say, with what they might say that we convince ourselves that we have all this fucking hate and you don't. People aren't talking about you. And if they are, it's because you're doing something great. That's the fucking truth. And if you're doing something great, you really don't care if people are talking about you. For all of you folks out there that's losing sleep, you never allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you've worked your ass off to get it. And you can keep all your little slick ass comments to yourself. Because guess what? I don't remember the last time I lost sleep over a hater. Huh? It's not that I'm above opinions. It's not that I'm bigger, greater, or more significant than anybody. But you will never make me feel bad about being this blessed when I've worked my ass off to get here. Don't lose no sleep over these haters, man. The reason they got a problem with your life is because they don't have a life. People are talking behind your back. 
because you left them a long time ago. They're behind you. I want to remind you to continue to dream and dream big and understand that your family and friends and loved ones, in most cases, boyfriends, girlfriends, they will be the first to try and talk you out of your dreams, your visions and ideas as to what you're supposed to do with your life. They will say, who wants you when you put on all that weight? Nobody's interested in you. Nobody's checking for you. They'll laugh at you. They'll call you names because they have no dreams. They have no hunger for success. They don't have an appetite. They don't want it. Can't help myself. I want to win. You see, while you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. You will lose and I will win.